a fucking what is it called i don't know uh what are they fucking called what are these fucking things called what lozenge <laughs> oh what go. lozenge oh uh. yeah i'm sick oh gross yep very you got the big sick or just the regular sick? no no re- small sick. shut your whore mouth pain mini someone approaches from the starboard bow well Mehdi told me to start recording early, so here we are. I'm gonna jump in in like a minute and bully the shit out of Carl. Still haven't watched any of this podcast. I don't really know what I'm getting into here. But... I mean, what are you gonna do? Yeah, here we go. Hello. Hello! Hello, Nick. Hello, Carl. Fucking Who? What? Clap sync. You all ready? The fuck does that mean? I never watched this show. (laughs) That means you clap (laughs) when we fucking count down. You stupid sack of shit. All right, all right, all right. Uh, three, two. All right, good start. On go. Three, two, one, go. Mine didn't pick up on the microphone. <laughs> it's I fine. clapped way too late. <laughs> <laughs> or, or early. No, no, it was early, early, early. We, we, we go around three? Is that the plan? No, we're doing, we're we doing it. No, no, we're, we're already started. This we're is part of started. it. Oh, it's shit. Part. Oh, okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of Dipship's Legitimate Budding Podcast. I, as always, am your Captain Clamity Crow, and joining me, as always, is my wonderful co-host, Red Admiral PM. Howdy. Ensign Jordan. Hi. And Maritime Medi. Hello. And joining us today, our special guest for episode 30, Nick. Hi. Dragoon X13. But like on a boat, though. Okay, I, <laughs> once again, I reiterate, <laughs> fucking who? Nick is a friend of Medi and I's from uh, way back in the webcomic days. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, so this episode's cringe. Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. Right, Explicitly, so having, yes. Having watched none of them, wait, they're all cringe. <laughs> it's true. Isn't this episode twenty nine? Welcome to episode thirty. Being being held on episode twenty nine. <laughs> wait, no, I thought episode twenty nine already got uploaded. <laughs> no, no, nope. that was twenty eight. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, we, we we skipped last week because Carl had the big sick, and now. Yeah, this was supposed to be 30. And then he's like, all right, Nick, we're going to just drag you in as a special guest for episode 30, forgetting that this was 29. Oh, shit. No, I remembered it was 29, but also this is funny. It's funny as hell. Just put it up as 30, and whenever anyone looks for it, this is 29. Yeah, exactly. All right, how's everybody's weeks? How's everybody doing? So, um, when, when Medi asked me to come on the show... Yeah. I asked if it was a problem that I had seen none of your podcast whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And they were like, no, nah, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. I was like, cool, cool. But I wanted to I wanted to do something still. I wanted to look at it a little bit. Yeah. But I didn't actually listen to anything. I just looked at the thumbnail. And I was okay. like, all right, that's good enough. So I thought, I thought that I would start by talking about my favorite boat. You know what? You 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 my, are my on fa- brand with this podcast so far because we are a legitimate boating podcast. That's See, true. that's the only thing yes. I got from the thumbnail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I, I'm sure that everyone's already discussed their favorite boat. But of course. personally, yes yes. yes, yes, mine is probably the Vasa, which is a Swedish warship that inspired the Flying Dutchman. 
Oh, oh fantastic boss. choice. Oh, that's thank a good you, choice. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Carl? Huh? What's your favorite boat? The ones that go fast. That is a good choice. I like a nice do you, galleon. Do you want to change your answer? I don't... No. I'm committed. No. A nice big I, galleon. You know. I like canoes. Uh, <laughs> I'm a big canoe fan. I'm a canoe bro. Yeah. I fucking love canoes. Likes canoes? Is your favorite thing about them that they kind of look like a banana that you can just sit in? I am allergic to bananas, so no. What? Oh. <laughs> this is new lore. Wait, what? what? Yeah, what? No, wait. I feel like that makes it better because this is the one way you can truly experience banana. That's true. Like, I like canoeing. banana flavored things like banana bread and banana mm -hmm. candy. But That's like, why you like the banana boat. But whenever I eat an actual banana, I throw up. I don't know well, if it's an actual allergy thing, but like seriously, you since be allergic the, to potassium. Since I was a baby, I've never been able to eat a banana without immediately throwing up. See, I feel like I've exposed a side of PM that despite everyone else talking to them for so long, you did not know. I'm pretty sure I've never told the internet that. Granted, yeah. I've never talked I've never had to talk about eating bananas on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Wild. Dipshits, oh, the legitimate or banana the last, eating like, podcast. Or the last 15 years of me being on the internet, no one's ever asked me, Hey, PM, what are your stances on bananas? <laughs> you realize you've opened up a floodgate of people asking you about various foods now. Yeah. I mean, all right. I used to be allergic to strawberries. Anything else? <laughs> uh, thoughts on specifically <laughs> Granny Smith apples? Um, Not my favorite kind. I don't like a red <laughs> apple. I prefer uh, green. Green is the Granny Smith. Then I don't know what I'm talking. I don't know anything about apples. <laughs> I, oh, I, nice. I, 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 it's a good thing this isn't an apple podcast because I know nothing about apples. Well, I like you'd red be apples. Fucked. But Fuck you red apples. Red well apples are disgusting. Confused. They would be like, uh, "All right, here's all your way. cosmic crisp to try out," and you'd be like, "What the fuck's a cosmic crisp?" I thought this what was the an fuck apple is a show. cosmic crisp or pink lady. No, now no. you're just making stuff up. No, oh, these sure. these are real, unfortunately. Uh, what are no, they? I'm not not a red apple fan. Oh, for green apples. apples. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. We are talking about apples. Of course, they're gonna be apples. <laughs> what the cosmic crisp sounds like a fucking brownie, not an apple. <laughs> I'm lost. Uh, I don't know what's your favorite kind of apple. Or boat, or both. What's your favorite kind of apple to eat while on a boat? <laughs> well, are you liking my choice Maddie? of special guest? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should apologize, but I won't. Jordan, answer the fucking question. G green apple. <laughs> what kind of on what kind of boat? <laughs> boat. <laughs> green you apple on boat. Let's go. <laughs> Considering this is our boat fact, man, that's pretty on brand. <laughs> it really is. I've been, giving, I've been giving good facts for the last couple weeks. Yeah. Really? Are you sure about that? Yeah. Can you recall any of them currently? Mm. Mm. Now you see, uh, we have our friend, uh, we have our friend Nick here for our special guest because our previous special guest, rest in fucking peace, Gilbert Gottfried, is no longer with us. Uh, yeah, it's it's such a shame. He was so excited to actually be here, and uh, I know you guys put in a lot of work to get him on the show. It was a lot of fucking money. I'm not getting back. It was a big investment. It paid for his funeral, though. You know that was nice. Eh? Did wait, but did like the cameo money go through? Because we should get a refund off of that. That's uh, uh, no. Unfortunately, you can't get a refund for dead celebrities. It's a uh, uh, yeah. It's up in the air. But if you wait, like, 20 years, they can digitally recreate his voice using uh, clips from the old movies, and then you can get the cameo. And then we have to pay for a cameo a second time. Yeah. And then Damn we it. can have him come on and go, hey, everyone, it's your boy, Gilly G. <laughs> oh, God. You know what? That That is a way better idea than what the original guest of the uh, of the episode 30 was going to be. Would have been far worse than what's currently going on and this other fake plan. <laughs> <laughs> fake plan? Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 don't worry, I'm talking nonsense. It's yeah. the fever talking. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. So, who wants to talk about their week first? 
Uh, or two weeks, I, I guess. Like... It's been like a fortnight. Oh, we should talk about Fortnite. Go ahead, Jordan. You guys. Uh... So, last week uh-huh. we didn't record. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which may have been a godsend because not only did Carl have the have the big sickie, mm-hmm. but I had a live musical performance going on behind my house. Wait, I've been there, man. Why would that I'll... be a problem? That would be special musical guest. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Like a Buffy Shit. episode. Yeah. Our uncontrollable special guest in the background. <laughs> some fucking guy blurring his music. Every one so dude pretending to be in. Tokyo Ska Orchestra. <laughs> it just reminds me of that uh, that image of the dude like walking up to a girl with a trumpet. Oh, yeah. Just a whole band instead. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was that about, Jordan? Was it just a dude just uh, having a fun party? Uh, it was just a... Uh... I never found out what it was about, but like, did you even try? No, because it was <laughs> in another neighborhood. Like, if we had recorded, my audio would have been backgrounded by this the entire time. I I, yeah. I love uh, your face in that video where where you just pan to yourself and you're just fucking <laughs> dead ass staring at the camera. It was so unamused. Terrifying. I can't really think of anything else I did with my week. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking through the notes of all the things that I wrote down here. I, I forget all of these because the whole <laughs> week has passed since all of these happened. <laughs> like I'm trying to remember what sweaty knees is about, and I can't <laughs> for the you... life of me know what fucking sweaty knees is about. Your I knees were sweaty, mom spaghetti. Come it's on, man. Upsetting. You stole more. What about Frog the Jam? Frog the Jam. Oh, okay. Wait, so... the Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yes, the Yu-Gi-Oh card. I have so. All right. Oh no, I feel like we've awakened something. So, so at my job, right? Yeah. There is a person who works security during oh, the weekends, and I swear to God, I look at this man's face, and he, sh- the, I, I can't help but cackle because he straight up looks like Frog the Jam. <laughs> That's so... <laughs> and you know what? He probably oh, kind of smells like him too. Damn. Because I, I was I was uh, uh, waiting to throw out the garbage, and this motherfucker passed me, and my knees buckle because of how bad he smells. <laughs> That's his monster effect. I mean, yeah, it's in the card oh. text. Let me monster uh, effect. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> read, read, read the card text of Frog the Jam. It says one stanky motherfucker. Yeah, it says make the knees buckle. It doesn't say why. Frog the fucking jam, Jesus! <laughs> Did you know it's no longer Frog the Jam? Yeah, I know they they changed it. Uh, oh shit, that's right. It's like Slime Toad or something. Yes, slime you're Slime Toad. toad. What the fuck? <laughs> wow, that's mean. What Don't the fuck? fucking dunk on Frog the Jam by calling him Slime Toad. That's what they named him. They changed his name. <laughs> Whatever, it's still Frog the Jam in my heart. Same. Exactly. But it can't. Uh, but it's not in Frog Sport, so. No, it it's not. not. Frog support. Frog That's why in a lot of frog totally, support cards, it well, totally should be. It should be level two. It's water. Oh, qu- <coughs> die! He just got a whiff of frog the oh. jam. Yeah, I think. I, did. <laughs> I nearly choked my lozenge. There's All a right. lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, frog support cards that just straight up list frog the jam as like the one exception. It's like just yeah, is not an exception. My birthday was in our break. That's right. We missed Jordan's yeah. birthday, Medi's birthday, PM's birthday. You all had birthdays last week? They all had birthdays. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? All these Jordan fucking April 14th and Summer 17th. Love. all had birthdays last week, and when Carl asked, what did you all do last week? Everyone went, uh... <laughs> well, I didn't say, uh, it wasn't my turn yet. <laughs> also, also, last It wasn't week, my turn. <laughs> last week was not my birthday. Last, the... <laughs> My birthday was the 14th. We skipped the week before where I could have talked about my birthday. <laughs> uh, get fucked. You can still talk about your birthday after get the fact. Fucked. No. So, no. Uh, on my enough, birthday, yeah. we decided that a fun drinking game would be that Uh-oh. we watch the Jackass movies 2 to 4. You're right, I did write down Jordan's big drinkies. <laughs> and, and, and take a shot every time we look away because the scene is so bad. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, had, I would have been stone sober that entire movie. I, ha- I had five shots by 40 minutes in to Jackass 2. No, you had like 
No, no, no. Let him tell it. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I, ha- I had five shots. I send a picture of my bottle in my shot glass to the chat, and Carl's like, Jordan, have you been filling the entire shot glass? And I respond with, isn't that what you're supposed to do? Please, please post the picture. I'll have to find, it's really, it's like deep in my phone now, so I'll have to find it. But, um, so I basically had 10 shots across 40 minutes. Yeah. The equivalent of 10 shots. With peach whiskey. (laughs) Did it never strike you that taking that shot seemed exceptionally difficult? There it is. No, that shit is pure sugar, dude. Oh, fair enough. Never had it. Like, like you can down those and not notice it. It's thirty-three proof. I had some. Uh, yeah, the, the they're worst not that strong. Thing with that, I probably had was getting you know those like fruit flavored vodkas. Yeah, I mixed that and it just tasted like apple juice. And I was like, I could get so fucked up on this because it just feels like I'm drinking apple juice. Yeah. That's what yep. I like about Angry Balls. Okay, hold on. A bit of Fireball, Angry Orchard. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. Yes, I know you were excited because you thought it was something else, but no. It kind well, of reminded again, me of a cross between Angry Birds and also Angry Beavers. <laughs> you know, again, I would I would love if they had called it Orchard Fire instead, but haha, funny frat boys. Angry Balls. All right. So, Jordan, yeah. how did you feel when you got your big drinkies? Ooh, ooh! I don't. I, mm, I, I struggled to remember. I struggled to remember that night. I didn't <laughs> How wake was up the with morning? A, I, I, didn't wake up, I didn't wake up with a hangover. That's good. You know, uh, we forced you're him. So lucky that you're like twelve years old. No, dude. we forced him to drink water. Like Jordan, drink fucking water. You know, uh, oh. Yeah, and he just sat there just <laughs> drinking water the whole time, laying on his bed, going, "Guys, I love my girlfriend." Uh, yeah, I just yeah, remember yeah. seeing several pictures of you laying on the bed, like, looking dead. <laughs> just, like, <laughs> down in the corner of his webcam, just like, oh, I left my webcam on, huh? And he just <laughs> stayed there and didn't bother trying to turn it off. <laughs> it's just oh, so fucking shit. far oh. gone. You know, I respect it. Oh, it's so funny. Jackass was good. We watched two and three. We did not make it to four. Did yeah, I don't more? surmise that you would have. Was it like everyone passed out from alcoholism, or like you guys only just three gave of us were drinking? Moved on. Three of us were drinking. I was one of them. I was barely fucking buzzed. <laughs> I took about four shots. Wait, wait, wait! You guys were doing this together? Yes, yes. You so you watched him pour these. Double oh, shot I didn't glasses. watch him pour the shots. No, no, no. He he's not here. Like, oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. You know, Jordan didn't have his webcam on, and he wasn't here, so I couldn't stop him from making a mistake. <laughs> but or or also, let him you probably do it. wouldn't have stopped him anyway. I probably would have let it happen because it'd be funny. And it was. <laughs> Apparently, it was good content. Yeah, I had like four shots. I think I took a fifth one for fun, and I had like oh, what do- two drinks. What doesn't- what doesn't help is that we made the house rule that whoever took their shot first had to take two shots. Two, yeah. I don't think was two it shots. you? Yeah, of course it was, it was me. Jordan. <laughs> I think the first time I looked away was in a Jackass 2 where they just have someone slopping a huge shit onto a fucking fake set. And I was like, oh, well, that's pretty um, gross. My favorite is when they're electrocuting the gooch. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. That's in Jackass 1. Yep. That was... Yep. I would have to, f- like force myself to look away to drink like at all during that challenge because like that shit does not bother me Uh, you say that now i do i've seen all of those i've seen all of those movies looks like we need to get ourselves a movie night boys Uh uh-oh what a a night where i don't drink where's the fun in that (laughs) (laughs) we'll see we'll see pm okay it's kind of ominous. Take a shot but... every time PM doesn't take a shot. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, like, I I will I will force myself to drink. I will look at my phone in order to get myself a couple shots in. <laughs> <coughs> Proud of you. He just, remember, like, spoofs remember... the phone to send himself a text message like, Oh, what's that? Oops. <laughs> Shots time. I remember the final shot I took was when they drank horse cum. Yeah. Oh, boy. That Sounds, was uh... Wrong. 
Sounds gloppy. Wait, no, I, I think that that's just the that's just the last. No, wait, that was that was in Jackass Three. I remember what the final scene I like looked away from was. <laughs> it was wasn't when it uh, who the fuck was it? it uh, wasn't it Steve-O ate horseshit in front of Three Six Mafia? Yeah. Oh, that might huh. be, that might have been it. That might have been it. Is that a Steve-O or uh, fucking? I don't know his Bam? name. Bam. Maybe yeah. Oh man, I can't believe Bam Margera's dead. One shot at life. Your son is Bam Margera. You know, if I didn't know any better, it would sound like you guys are naming members of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. We might be. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Not entirely wrong. <laughs> oh, Pam, what else happened in your, your two weeks? There's so many notes you have. Uh, Let's see. I had my birthday. Mm -hmm. we, we were supposed to record on my birthday, and then we're we so ended up not... Then but we then ended up we at least in a we call. We totally could have. Yeah, like we... We totally could have, except Medi wasn't there. Medi had to, Medi had to run away because I of had Carl's to social sickness. distance. Um, be away so he didn't catch the corvids. Didn't really do scared of crows, you know. On my birthday, That's like understandable. We, just, we we all sort of just like hung out. Yeah, we hung out. Did you got a cupcake. You got frosting up your nose. Oh yeah, 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 I got, for a couple yeah. Of days. <laughs> I got I got my uh, Jordan cream pied me. <laughs> I, uh, huh? <laughs> yeah, no. The, the my statement is accurate. I got okay. cream pied by Jordan. All right. Uh, he was very nice enough to send me my actually my only birthday present that year. This Ooh, year wow. was uh, was uh, Jordan sending me uh, uh, a cupcake through Uber. Very nice of him. Uh, it was a, a a very delicious. What was it? A, a, like a. Oh, Chocolate oh. Nutella cupcake. Yeah, there you go. Huh. And a milkshake. Now we're about to find out that it's like super organic, destroyed your respiratory system. No, no, it was it was fine. <laughs> other than it. it was it was like two thirds of the whole fucking thing was all frosting, and uh, while attempting to eat it, like the frosting was going up my nose, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just yelling in the call like I have frosting in my nose. I have frosting in my nose. Somebody help me! I have frosting in my nose. Hey PM. Yeah. I think you might be expecting something at the door soon. Oh, okay, no. right, cool. Anyway, uh, he also Did sent you me order a, a banana. He also sent me a, 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 a shake, and uh, the shake was disgusting. I'm sorry, Jordan. That, that was a waste of money. That it was fucking awful. Uh, it did there, <coughs> I think. Oh God damn it! All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Since this is episode thirty. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's yes. definitely episode thirty happening on episode twenty nine. <laughs> Yep, episode yes. three happening up. There is no so episode three now. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so is next week going to be episode 31 on episode 30? Yes. Uh, yeah, I guess. Or is it just going to be 30 again? 30-2. <laughs> so. No, no, we're not Final Fantasy here. The supplemental episode is <laughs> episode 30-2. <laughs> Man, now I don't know if they're actually showing up because now they're doing an entire rotation around his oh, I hate it when that happens. Oh, unless they're, like, pulling over to the other side. Or stealing the food. Or lost. Or stealing the food. Because they do that a lot. I've been lucky. They haven't ever taken my food. You son of a oh, bitch. there they are. Lucky some of the... See, yeah, I just have, the, I have that power. I don't know what it is. It's the same reason I can say Sea Hag on Twitter and Carl cannot. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Well, no, we haven't gotten oh, to Carl's week yet. <laughs> you're the one that Carl was talking about. Fucking furious. <laughs> oh. Furious like some kind of witch of the sea? <laughs> For example. I'll stuff you both inside of the crust. <laughs> hot. It'll be hot. Hot crust? Yeah. Crust of the earth? No, pizza crust. Oh, well, it's also hot. Bake you into a little pie. See, the problem is I don't know if PM has wireless headphones or not. So I, I'm waiting until he gets back to say what I got him. Probably doesn't. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's just silently waiting, like, say it, say it, say it. Oh, order complete. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Oh. I'm kind of scared now. I got him a sprite with it. <laughs> got him a sprite with it. <laughs> you know what? 
That's awesome. Jordan, so help me God. If I end up, like, I'm legitimately sick already. If this makes me more sick, I will throttle you. I swear. <laughs> How's it going to make you sick? It's a sprite. You don't know the first thing he sent me. You, <laughs> you don't know. Mr. Beast Burger, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Dude, this bag stinks of onions. Holy, Holy shit. shit, what the fuck is in here? <laughs> presumably a beast burger. Yeah, a burger. presumably a beast burger. Yeah. Hilariously, beast though, burger. no onions. Oh, there's caramelized onions on that burger. Oh, that's good shit. Oh shit, there's a sprite! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, there's a sprite! I fucking love sprite. What the fuck is all this? What? <laughs> That is a beast style burger combo with bacon, caramelized onions, extra cheese, s- seasoned fries with beast style fries. Not sponsored, by the way. Oh, this is out. Unless. Is, uh, beast Burger, if you're listening, please sponsor us. <laughs> uh, yeah, hold hold on. Really let, let me review the, the food first but before yeah. we accept any sponsorship. That's fair. This that's is fair. a heavy burger. <laughs> this, is, this has some heft to it. Take a picture. Jesus. God. Turn on the webcam. Come on. Let how me, are we supposed me... to know? Oh, right. Yeah, I got one of those now. I don't Hold think on. just oh, you like, got one. speaking as yeah, a special yeah, guest, I, got one. I don't think that you guys can accept their sponsorship unless they tell you their favorite boat. It's true. Oh, shit, like, as I a corporation, mean... they're going to have to vote. Plug in the webcam. Yeah, I'm going to have, uh, you know, the, yeah, that's going to be a deal breaker if they don't. Damn. You know that thing that Arby's does sometimes where they make like little cutouts? I feel like Arby's would do it. They would make meat boat for you oh, guys. Oh, hold on. I gotta tie up my hair. <laughs> you gotta what? I gotta tie up my hair. <laughs> my hair. Tie up my hair. <laughs> Don't want to get it in the Beast Burger. Dude, this is, this is some fucking bullshit. bullshit. I, I, I woke up for this podcast and my hair's a mess. <laughs> I'm running on two hours of sleep. I'm sick. Ooh, I look bitch. like dog shit. <laughs> want me to turn on my fucking webcam? I don't even have my lights on. <laughs> <laughs> don't even turn them on. Just we'll put up a video of you silently <laughs> eating in the dark, uninterrupted for five minutes. Let me, let me open up this fucking bad book. But we first. would though. <laughs> how do I? How do I even turn on my webcam? Is it just this? Video thing. Oh. Just turn on camera. There you go. Look at that. PM. PM. <laughs> <laughs> More homo. I love you, man. <laughs> is it gonna work? It's never gonna work. Is it? Is it? Is it working? Make sure your make sure your working. webcam set in your settings. Uh, how do I? Oh. Wait, gear. no, no, you're gonna you're gonna see my missing tooth. No, 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 <laughs> no! I don't want this. We have to go. Come on. Sorry, I panicked. <laughs> We need to see the burger, PM. <laughs> we we need look, you'll see the burger, all right? I'm very good at taking pictures. I'm very, I'm very photograph. What? <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry about what I, oh my god, this thing's huge. Holy shit. <laughs> photograph. Oh. We need to take a picture of that burger in panoramic. PM, we good gotta have Lord. our webcam on, come on. Dude, fucking. Come on. Huh? Make sure it's, it's set right. You gotta set it in your settings. I, I'm pretty sure I did that before. Uh, I'm gonna have to reset it if you unplugged it. In that panic oh, that you left the call with before. Or unplug it and replug this? it. There he is! There he is! No. Look at no. that! No. It's don't, judge, okay. don't judge my room! <laughs> Look, it's Boo! Uh, boo Hold on, I wanna see it. what you see. Okay, there we go. Hit the kitty. <laughs> No, she'll get cat hair all over the food. The Papam's face reveal. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me take a picture of this. This might actually be the first time I've seen your face, Pia. <laughs> We've known each other for like ten years, but this might be the first time I've seen your face. Well, the I've, done for, uh, uh, I've done them for about Shut twenty-eight up. minutes. Here it is. Here's this fucking monstrosity. It's huge, y'all. You can't see shit because there's no lights on. <laughs> it's oh, pretty big. Do that. That's pretty big. Oh god, it stinks of the fucking onions. Jesus Christ. PM, you look like if Kratos and Gilbert Godfrey had a son. What? <laughs> you so you guys did get Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> and then here are the fr- oh, there's pickles on it. What the fuck? Or no, that's mm, cucumber. Tasty. Oh wait, no, that's the same thing. Hold on. 
can, can you see that? No, you can't see shit. Oh, oh that looks like it's fucking vomit. This. Oh, there's like pickle. No, there's some like sauce. Fucking... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I know how to fix this. Yeah, yeah. bam. Oh, oh wait. Go. No, that didn't fix shit. Yeah. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait. Oh, wait, there's some jisms. Oh, that's yeah, good. Uh, Gonna add mayo, some texture. Ke- ketchup, mustard, pickles, mo- more onions. No wonder this fucking shit smells like onions. Good lord. <laughs> All right, well. Oh, God, where do I start? Oh, I, 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 I'm Start very paranoid. You know. I, 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 need to ask you, I need to ask you all a very important question. Have you noticed a tooth at all? No. 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 Oh, it was a nice okay. big smile. No! <laughs> I will not do that! Alright, let's start off with these fries. They don't look very good. He's so to apprehensive. Be with you. Like, I, it's not even my food, but I'm hoping he enjoys the fries. Oh, the crinkle cut. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, the crinkle cut. <laughs> It's a ghost kitchen, so... <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's actually oh, really wow. good. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Golly, fellas. <laughs> He's going to finish the meal. Jesus Christ, he's going to die. He's loving it. on them. He hasn't eaten a day. He's like, no, no, no. This is the best endorsement he could give. <laughs> Oh, please don't choke! Please don't choke! Oh, anyway, this I is going to be uh, PM's last so appearance on the show. Oh, so <laughs> oh, boo! Oh, boo! Save your dad! <laughs> Chest compressions, boo! Chest compressions! It's like making I'm legit fun. nearly choke. <laughs> we, you know what? We didn't even notice. Oh, oh God! All. Why'd you let me do that? <laughs> uh, you just looked like you were really into it. We didn't want to interrupt. I was. It was, <laughs> you it, were it, a good it was time. actually really good. <laughs> All right, now now time to tackle this big boy. Oh, Jesus Give me that boy again. Yeah, but how do you, how do you start? How, what how, angle do you how, attack this from? How do I from? start? Burger looks fucking oh, good. Oh, oh, this onion's falling all over the place. <laughs> Speaking of onions, so I'm sick, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I called my mother and asked her if she knows any uh, home remedies for me to do while no, I'm sick. No oh, way. Uh-huh. <laughs> what? This, for, those, for the uneducated, is a plate of onions. <laughs> this, is, this is what my dad had to deal with for months. Months she had to deal with this shit. Why did you... Uh, yes, when your mom would just leave plates of onions laying around the house. Why did, why, why did you actually do it? I... All right. <laughs> All right, listen. She's crazy, but my sinuses did clear up a little bit. Oh just, uh, just, okay. just a little bit. I don't know. Maybe oh. maybe this is all placebo. I don't know, but it worked. Oh, okay, God. anyway. Oh, PM, there could not have been a better episode for you to actually come on camera. Holy <laughs> just... shit. You fucking bird. Um, it's too just, big. It's just too big. Moment of it's resignation. too big. I can't. You gotta squish it down with both hands. I don't like squish. I don't like to. Just shove it in your gullet. There you Looks go. Looks like you got a bite of wrapper in that. Mm-hmm. Oh god. What are you? What are you fighting? It feels oh, like bacon. bacon. Looks like. Bacon. <laughs> Who's oh, Boo does not like it. I had to get all. out of here. <laughs> the onion is so overpowering. It's so... O- this is too... This is too floppy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, floppy. Not, it's not crispy enough. Uh, so you're a big fan of the, fi- of the fries. Huge mm-hmm. detriment. Floppy bacon. I mean, it's not doing it any favors. <laughs> I hope you're listening, Mr. It. Beast. This is, this <laughs> is a harsh Beast. but fair criticism. Of your burger. <laughs> your particular burger. Mr. Beast, I mean, uh, okay, look. the views of PM do not re- reflect the views of the rest of this podcast. Please sponsor us. Yes, please. Please <laughs> sponsor put, us. We are. Please, way, please tell us your favorite boat. Way too many fucking pickles <laughs> on this, my guy. 
It's, it's way too many. <laughs> way too many. That's also, that's also they're, all, they're all on one side of the fucking yeah, one. Why, why can you not evenly distribute this shit? Please. <laughs> I mean, it's a ghost kitchen, so it's a bunch of uh, underpaid teenagers just slapping a burger together. It's like the SpongeBob episode where there's no pickles. Except they're all right there. All right, look like um, bass. You're right. Well, I'm done. Wow. Wow, that's the meanest thing you've ever said to PM. I don't know. He could have said frog to jam. That's not I don't true. know. He he already called me uh, fucking uh, uh, Kratos and uh, Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> that's child. a compliment. Is it? I don't... Mm, okay, whatever you say, bud. Um... That's beautiful. Uh, all right, bye. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. There he goes. I hit the wrong button again. Oh, I can only hear you out of one ear. Hold on. Hello? No, still Never change, but... Oh, wait. Hello? I'm fucking... No. What's that maybe? Oh, come on. No. 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 Oh, oh. Yes. There we go. It's fixed. Hey. hey. Oh, I might throw up, actually. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> it's because you ate so fast. Yeah, oh, probably. Oh, God. <sighs> so, how's your week, Pia? <laughs> Pia, I love you. You're a fucking dumbass. It's a lot better now, I bet. Um, I I am sweating profusely. <laughs> like, I, I, am, I feel hot. That burger was effort. He has so many notes still. Um, all right. So, my <sighs> notes. Let's see if I can remember any of these. Uh, rat kingdom wait okay hold up i have a question as, <laughs> as a special guest having never seen this show these notes yes. mm -hmm. is this like you guys take notes on the weird shit throughout the week yeah yes okay yes, pretty much i thought this was like stuff that had been brought up tangentially in the past and you just wrote it down hastily no. in the moment like no. rat parade no. and then you had to come back to it a week later with no context like the fuck is <laughs> rat parade? Such a good idea <laughs> <laughs> no, ba basically, we, we try to write our notes down so we remember all the shit that happens in our week, but we try to write it in a way that doesn't spoil what it actually is for okay, the okay. podcast proper. I like Nick's. <laughs> you like Rat Parade? But in doing this, I don't remember any of these fucking stories now. Rat Kingdom, I, think... I, 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 okay, I remember Rat Kingdom. Yeah. Um, One day on my way to the part-time, uh, I'm fumbling uh, outside of the restaurant trying to get my uh, keys out, and I see in the darkness inside the restaurant, I see the fucking so-called rat, which I've dubbed Stuart. Okay. Yeah. Stuart now. Stuart rattles. Uh, I, Stuart. I, I, I see Stuart the rat standing on its hind legs, and in front of him are, like, I, I, I don't remember, like, four to five mice in front of him. And it seemed <laughs> like he was, like, holding court. Like talking to these. He was addressing rodents. the kingdom. He was addressing the kingdom. <laughs> the king so, of rats. So I haven't. Court. I hadn't seen a mouse since this rat invaded the restaurant. I, I now know why he's he's making them hide while he does all of the dirty work. Uh, because he knows I'm frightened of him. He knows <laughs> he, can, he is the giant rat who makes all of the yeah, rules. Absolutely. He, he knows that he can literally, because he literally has done this, walk all over me. Oh, no. He has the power. Um, as soon as I put my oh. fucking uh, key in the door, they all heard it and fucking dipped. They all fucking ran away. <laughs> uh, and uh, even that, Stewart. Yes, even Stewart. Stewart doesn't have to leave. Stewart runs the place. Like even <laughs> like my my boss there has spent like I think about a grand at this point trying to get rid of this cra uh, or this rat w to no avail. And granted, the money that he's spending isn't being put to good use because all they're doing is putting these fucking uh, floor traps, but these floor traps are smaller than the rat itself. Oh. Like, the only thing it'll do is, like, cause a slight inconvenience. Um, I'd love to see this from Stewart's POV. Maybe one day. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll fucking grab a, a, a Sit pig down with it for an interview yeah. with Stewart. So, Stewart, what was it like running the restaurant for a time? Cheap, 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 cheap. Right. That was great being so a big cheese for once. What? <laughs> Let's see, what else? Uh, bitch about pillars. I think that was me complaining about having to clean pillars at the fucking mall. When for some like reason fucking... I thought you meant like Pillars of Eternity 2, because I would be down to bitch about that a little bit. No, no, I'm not. I, I, don't, I don't play those kinds of games. 
Uh, let's see, more candy thievery. So that clearly involves me stuffing more cubes down my pants. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, nope. Nick, it's exactly what it sounds like. Like, like. Okay. Oh, yes, lady, I remember was now. The same lady, your was the same lady your accomplice. Yes, the same. Look, it's her you idea that she wants to stealing accomplice. No, no, she's the mastermind of the operation. I'm, I'm just the lonely <laughs> lackey. But you're the accomplice. Yes, I am the accomplice. Because her pants are too small and tight to fit all of the cubes, so she needs my pants to stuff more of the cubes down. You got down. those guy pants pockets. They can fit Exa- more cubes. No, these are, are unfortunately <laughs> are not in my pockets. I, cl- I fully remember the story now. Uh-oh. So, uh, one night, uh, sh- she finds, like, the fucking mother load. She finds, like, eight boxes. Um, so, so, here we are in our fucking slop room, and she's like, alright, take some of these boxes and stuff yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 They're trying to silence him. <laughs> they don't want us to know. They found him. Aim <laughs> <laughs> for the eyes, PM. They're going to explain the cube-stealing mechanics. Using my balls. They're, these These aren't good anymore. What? These, these, <laughs> PM, 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 these, PM. Yeah. You cut out What's a bit. We got... We could, we got none of that. No, we got the most important oh, part. Oh, sorry. No, we <laughs> didn't. We did not. What one of one of the boxes mm-hmm. opened in in my pants, oh. and I'm like, Miss, these these candies are no good. They've grazed my balls. <laughs> they they are good anymore. I'm sorry. Um, these candied peaches are are not for human consumption. Um, so it's just like, oh, it's fine. Whatever. Just throw them in the garbage. Uh, I get home later that day. I go to oh, hop no. into the shower, and stuck between my inner thigh and my <laughs> ball sack, it, a candy peach just falls out. I hope to the Congratulations, floor. Congratulations, you're a dad. <laughs> it's a boy. You, if I were you, like, I would have thought one of my balls fell out. <laughs> Why your balls look like peaches? Damn, you gave birth to a nice, healthy your baby balls look like peaches. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to lie. I contemplated heavily. <laughs> And by heavily, I mean for like two minutes. That's pretty heavily. About about keeping the peach, <laughs> uh huh, and and somehow finding an incentive for the podcast to make oh, me eat no. the peach. By that time, it oh. would be moldy. I thought about it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Who knows? But hey, anything. <laughs> oh, for no. so, yeah. PM's you right. almost choked for content. Yeah. Yeah, I I nearly choked oh, on the shit. podcast live for content. Uh, yeah, I think. I think that's it. Nothing, nothing extraordinary has happened in in this. Do last you want to week. tell the story you told us last week off content nah, about it. me embarrassing you? Nah, that's fine. Whatever, fuck it. Oh, okay, it's not, it's not that funny. The TLDR for it is just that uh, P- PM just I fucking got very unlucky with headphones in public places. Yeah. Oh. Fuck, fuck you, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> not my fault. My fries are cold. <laughs> you got so wrapped up in the ball candy you forgot to eat your fries stupid piece of shit hello everyone this is your captain speaking thank you for listening to this episode of Dipships, the legitimate boning podcast I hope you're all enjoying it I hope you all enjoy our special guest for the episode uh, I'm just cutting in real quick to do the regular housekeeping tell you about a couple things and uh, all of that so let's just get right into it if you want updates on the show, you want to f- see what's going on with everything, you can follow us over on Twitter at DipshipsPod, D-I-P-S-H-I-P-S-P-O-D. And you can follow each of us individually at the Calamity Carl, at EXPayline, at GFPPM, and at MetorMan. And you can follow our special guest at, I hate this so much, at Echo Fetish, E-K-K-O underscore Fetish. What a fucking freak. Have any questions, have any topics, anything like that you want to send in to us, send them over to dipshipspot at yahoo.com or respond to the, t- the tweet put out almost every Sunday on our Twitter account. Again, it's dipshipspod. I'm having a rough speaking day today. What the fuck? If you want to support us directly, you can do so by going over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash dipshipspod. Sign up for any of the tiers. Uh, you can sign up for a dollar. You'll get your name and credits in the video version. Five dollars, you get watch PM versus anime. Ten dollars, you get to see uh, the commentary tracks. 
for PM versus anime. And also I get to thank you here at this part. $20 and $50 is like, you can do that if you want to, but they're just like suggesting things for PMVA. There might be some extra things to happen on those, but uh, we'll see. It'll, it'll be down the line, definitely. But for now, I want to thank everyone at the $10 and above tier with a verbal shout out. This part of the video, I'm not stalling to find the page. Such as, or starting with, Alatos Diogenes, Andres Rojas, Breakdown 707, Diablo, Dorgon 23, Dr. Perpaka, the Purple Paka, Aaron Yeager, Fire Trooper 113, Frost Samurai, Iris Placeholder, Kyle is a Bitch, Mop, Mr. I Like Spam, Mr. King Jacob 9002, Nap, Normalized Pagu Champ and Sinister, Shibuya Gato, The Crossing Fate, Tonya H, Zombie Slayer 051, and our $20 patron, Bye, and our $50 patrons, Bill and Generic Jackal says, I don't remember what I ask a lot of the time. Thank you all for the support. It helps us greatly. It helps us uh, a hell of a lot. And we wouldn't be here without you. So please continue to watch and enjoy. Please, thank you. Speaking of thanking, I would like to thank Vidazen over on Twitter at underscore V-I-D-A-Z-E-N underscore for our intro song Starbird and our extra songs Appetite, Delight, Ride of the Wave, and Seaside. And also Shibuya Gato and Shura Art for our art assets, the logo, the art you see, the thumbnails and everything, all that stuff. Thank you all so much. I love you guys. Don't forget that we're also available on Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, and the video version on YouTube. In case you don't know that any of those exist, there's many options for you to listen to this show. Only one to watch. If you find another one to watch, they stole this video and you should them in real life. I, I, will we get hurt for saying that? I don't know. I'm going to censor that. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's everything. Again, th thank you to our special guest, our dear friend Nick, for being on. I hate your fucking Twitter at, you piece of shit. You're not going to listen to this episode. You're never going to hear this. It's going to be funny. Uh, thank you guys again. Uh, please enjoy the rest of the episode. Hello. If you're listening to this podcast, then you're either a big fan of boats or a big fan of listening to friends goof off for a few hours. Well then, I have excellent news for you. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Show has plenty of boats. And the Millennium Microphone is a podcast where four friends re-watch the show with boats and also goof off for a few hours every other week. It features that Carl guy that you've been listening to here, along with Shora, ba and me, Shibuya Gato. Check us out on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or Podbean. We also have a Patreon to see how many seasons people will force us to watch, so go check that out too at patreon.com slash millennium mic. If, if you don't know how to spell millennium, that's uh, two L's, two N's, and then an M-I-C at the end. Or you could just Google us. I, I guess that works too. See you there. All right, so my weeks were, uh, hmm. Man, they were weeks, all right. Yeah, I bet they were. I know at least two things that happened. It's, it's I was some, like, so I'm going to bitch about Thursday. That was like three days of work before we have uh, three day or two days off. They were as packed as they could have possibly fucking been. And it fucking sucked. And I was like, at least I get uh, these two days off and then the fucking Saturday and Sunday off so I can relax and enjoy. I could go to my mom's place for Easter. So I went there Friday so that I wouldn't miss Dipship's recording or a uh, mill mic recording on Saturday morning. And I got there Friday in the afternoon and immediately felt like I had a fucking fever. So I took a nap on her couch. Uh, she heated up clam chowder that she had made and I had some. And I was like, this doesn't taste like anything. This isn't uh -oh. a good sign. It wasn't until the next day where I was, uh, or that night rather, where I was like uncontrollably shaking from how cold I felt and uh, coughing to the point of almost throwing up. And it's at this point we regret to inform you that Carl did in fact pass away. I wish. <laughs> no, I I had a round two of COVID. Didn't find that out until Sunday morning. <gasps> God damn. And I was like, oh boy. And that's when I decided to drive home. It was Sunday in the afternoon when I felt fine enough to be somewhere. You that did. was awesome. <laughs> you didn't give it to any of your family this time, did you? I gave it to my mother. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. The one thing I tried to avoid the entire time, and it happened right then and there. They're fine. They felt like barely anything. And I was like, what the fuck? 
I was fucking shaking like I had Parkinson's in the bathroom. <laughs> Not even trying to like make a joke, like legit. I couldn't stop myself from shaking. It was terrifying. And they're over here like, yeah, I had a slight cough, a little light <laughs> fever. I was like, I was at 105. Go fuck yourself. God so damn. Mad. And you're fully vaccinated, too, right? Yeah. Booster? Boosted, too. I'm not boosted, but I am fully vaxxed. Oh. I need to get my booster still. Technically same, but I haven't left the house in... I don't want to say that number out loud. <laughs> <laughs> you disgust me. I know. So yeah, I ended up having this whole week off. It's been great. Sort of did nothing. <laughs> Hell yeah. You feeling better? Some stuff around the house. Yes, much better, except for this, uh, this cough that hasn't gone away. I'm like, tell me I got fucking whooping cough. That'd be amazing. <laughs> the thing that doesn't fucking exist anymore. He got smoker's lung. I'm in a predicament. And then to top it all off, I got fucking blocked on Twitter for saying sea hag to someone. <laughs> Cat. Stop, stop being fucking mean women. I refuse. Well, <laughs> that's why we got that email that one time. Weird hill to die oh, on, God. but at least you're dead. <laughs> Everything I do in life, I do for women, except for Cat. I mean, she barely counts. She barely counts. Barely. She's barely even human. Damn. Wow. Fucking freak show. I'm in, I'm in a predicament. <laughs> yeah? I finished my fries, and I would like to eat this burger, but I currently can't breathe out of my nose, and I think I need that for this burger. <laughs> <laughs> I also Spanish. bit my lip really hard. I think I'm bleeding. <laughs> Yeah, I'm bleeding. Hold on. I'll be right oh, back. Oh, buddy. my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Maddie, tell us there all what happened for you. Um, all right. So, I went to my mom's for Easter because this bitch was sick with COVID, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, uh, I guess also my birthday, technically. Yay. Wait, what do you mean Technically. I mean, I didn't intend to spend my birthday with my mom, but I did. Oh, okay. I thought you meant it was only technically your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> well, that too, because it was after, it was like two or three days after, but eh, still, you enough. know. Um, so while I was uh, meandering around my mom's neighborhood because I couldn't come home because someone had the big sick, and I didn't have a computer, so I just had to, you know, exist without a computer somehow yeah that sounds Just impossible on your phone uh, um so i was wandering around the the neighborhood and i didn't get the cops called on me this time that's, that's good. good even though i used to get them called on me when i lived there <laughs> so i was walking by the clubhouse and i'm passing by their community garden where all the old people go and they grow stuff and there's a big old sign with a pot leaf with a big red X through it. <laughs> oh. Something happened here. Now, is that I'm don't a... grow weed here or don't smoke weed here? Do not grow weed in the community right. garden. <laughs> it said, do not grow weed, cannabis, THC. It like listed every way you could say weed and said, don't grow this. Ah, we, we could do CBD. Got him. And it, yeah, exactly. And it's like, if there's no camera here, and there's no actual plots, right? Like, they're not assigned. It's just any old person can wander in here and grow anything. How are you going to stop them? <laughs> I mean, when they You're eventually wait bud, you come to collect the, it. they will smell it at some point. They'll nip it in the bud. Exactly. Uh, Literally the phrase. Damn, got him. I mean, yeah, it is. Yeah. You're right. You, do you think they can identify it by the bud, though? Uh, someone smarter than us probably could. <laughs> I mean, I, I imagine they have weed-smelling dogs for this, this sort of thing. Uh, not this old people place. Oh well, hello there. Also, why would you also, deny? Technically... Why would you deny the elderly weed? Yeah, really, they needed to live. Especially considering it's legal in New Jersey. Yeah, now, exactly. But... I mean, what isn't legal in New Jersey? Uh, still a lot. Still rather a lot. Murder. Oh, that's fair. No murder. Uh, is legal. Murder. I don't know how to tell you this. Murder is super legal in Jersey. Yep, murder super legal. Uh, it's. I'm not. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. Miranda, we are not you criminals. I, you all know what I was going to say, but I'm not going to say. I understand. It's illegal to go to CVS when there's a Wawa right down the road. Okay, That's is that true. illegal yeah. or like fundamentally frowned upon? Yes, both. <laughs> the cops will show up and they will beat your ass. Thank God. Let's see. 
Ah, uh, yes. Um, now, I don't know how many of you are drivers. Oh, uh, I drive. Formerly. Uh, no. I'm too gay. Bitch. I uh, shit, you ride too gay to operate heavy I'm, machinery? I'm like, I'm like Ryan Gosling. No, nothing uh, like that. What does that mean? <laughs> Homophobic? Understood. <laughs> oh, I got Ryan Gosling confused with his uh, alter ego, Jake Gyllenhaal, and I thought you didn't shower. Gyllenhaal! <laughs> Gyllenhaal! <laughs> It's an off-brand Tylenol. You, if you see that in the, on the shelves, oh, you don't buy that. I'm not going to say his name right. He doesn't deserve it. That's fair, yeah. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> um, uh, so, I don't know if you've ever driven uh, in uh, New Jersey, uh, but imagine the worst road you've ever been on, and that is the nicest and tamest road in New Jersey. <laughs> All right. The worst drivers that have ever been behind you and impatient are the calmest drivers in New Jersey. Oh, God. I uh, have driven through the city, and New York drivers in the city are calmer than parkway drivers or turnpike drivers in New Jersey. I feel like that's just a side effect of New Jersey. It's kind of it like, kind it, of it's like one of the planes of dread. But it's, it, it's it really is the plane of road rage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going uh, down the parkway at about... No cops listen to the show, right? Yeah, it's fine. 85 miles an hour or so, give or take, right? <laughs> this is when I tell you I'm a cop. Is it? I finally got the confession. You're going to jail. God damn it. You were Good, supposed to please. tell us. Three hots in a cot. Hell yeah! Oh, God, I wish that were me. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm going to like 85, 90... Right? And then I gotta start slowing down, because we start hitting traffic. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And there's a car that's been behind me, and despite me driving, like, 85, 90, they've been riding my ass for, like, five or six miles. This sounds like hey, Jersey. He's, he's gotta save on gas. Ride that tailwind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he's been flashing his lights at me to speed up or move out of the way. Oh. When the lane oh to God. our right was empty... Nobody liked Listen, that one, switching though. lanes is hard. Flashing lights is easy. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, go fuck. Like, I am, like, three seconds away from slamming on the brakes. Right? Mm -hmm. And the only reason I'm not is because I'm like, this car is a lease. This car is a lease. <laughs> <sighs> I do not own this car. But if I did, you would not have an engine block anymore, sir. You know what, that's a power move, and I respect it. So, I do start to slow down a little bit as we are nearing other cars. There is a block of traffic, and it is moving at, like, maybe 40 miles an hour. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. So I have to slow down, and this breaks the camel's back for, let's call him Douchebag A. And he, like, whips around me, uh, almost clips the front of my car getting back in the lane, and is... Flipping me off, like, full-on out the front window, like he's got his arm hanging out, giving me the bird backwards, only to then have to slow down to 40 miles an hour, not even a whole car space in front of me, because that's what traffic is going mm, at. Yep. And it's like, oh, you got so far, didn't you? <laughs> wow. Well, you got there so fast. Wow. You know, see, he got so the traffic proud of you, you little baby you, wow. so that means he won. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this is my favorite Anyway, kind of I hate our state. Yeah, I, I hate this state. I hate the drivers in it. What's the JFK Wendy's? <laughs> I'm sorry, we'll get what? To that. We'll get to that. Uh, we'll get to that. Uh, yes. shifts. Nick cannot see the... Uh, Nick cannot see the notes channel. <laughs> Nick should be able to see the notes channel. I, oh wait, I can. Yes. <laughs> stupid sack of shit. I didn't realize uh, it was a thing from uh, from yesterday. Yes. So Nick, how was your week? It was it was pretty good. I'm still struggling with the concept of trying to teach a kitten how to not go places. Uh, turns possible. out they just really like going places. And I tried that thing yep. where you put, like, a uh, tinfoil on a counter so they don't go up there. But apparently my cat is insane because they don't care. Just put cucumbers all over your house. Yeah. That requires me. I'm not going to go with your mom's <laughs> remedy for colds, but with cucumbers. 
<laughs> but it works for cats. Apparently it works for PM, too. Hey, like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> no, it works for COVID. It scares it away. See, that was our problem. We didn't have cut-up onions around the house. That's oh. why I got sick again. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, I, sh- I really should cut up that onion we have in there oh, and just God. leave plates of it laying around. I feel like if that was a thing you did while you were drunk, you'd wake up the next morning just so confused why there were plates of onions around the home. All right, fellas, we want to get into dip chips? I guess so. Ooh, are we? What? Hell yeah. Yeah, they got Jordan, they gotta two of us up. still have to fucking finish our thing. Dip chips All right. specifically sounds like gambling. It, it, some, sometimes it is. Yeah. Oh. It kind of is, but with your life. Welcome to Dip Chips. It is a podcast within a podcast where we eat food and we rate the food and we talk about the food and we have food. I feel like we did that already. Oh, this is different. <laughs> we had the Mr. Beast. We did, but more. No, oh, that was okay. a mini munch. No, 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 that was a mini munch. That, that was a cheat that meal. That was a mini munch. Okay. That was a cheat meal. You're right. That was a cheat meal. <laughs> You're right. That's a, a cheat meal. food based segments on this show, I'm realizing. <laughs> <laughs> on this show, well, on podcast. Podcast. you do on a boat, but eat. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> right. And play exactly. the slots. That's what you do on cruises. So, continuing from last week, uh, Medi and I actually finally got our Wendy's chicken breakfast biscuit to add something to. Forgot it was supposed to be spicy. It's fine. Uh huh. That's fine. I just it's fine. I just added, a I just added there, bacon too. and chicken. Bacon and chicken. Bacon and uh, cheese. Betty, however, added Frank's Red oh. Hot also. Oh. I added Frank's Red Hot to make it spicy, like we, like was the agreement. Uh, I th- yeah, I tossed the pickle on there. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, they're tiny. You know, they're, they're like they're like little tiny biscuit sandwiches. I'm imagining McMuffin size? Yeah, about, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I also put cheese on there, and I, I noticed... Mm-hmm. It's it's just a chick king from from Burger King. It's just a chick king. That can't be real. That's what real. chick king? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's real. their new sa- uh, chicken sandwich. Yeah, yeah, the chicken. Right, hang on, keep talking. I'm also, also that's you... that's not new. It's been well, at least it's been over here for like a, like a, a good minute. year. I haven't been to Burger King. It's in a hot new. Minute. It's new compared to their old chicken sandwich, which was hot dog shit on a yeah. bun. Like, how dare you make anyway. fun of their long chicken? Hand breaded <laughs> chicken. Yes, and the spicy chicken. Huh. I love the long chicken. It's gross. Anyway, it, it's just a chicken. Okay. It is just a tiny chicken. Wait, okay. Is it on its own intentionally what you ordered? Just a tiny chicken? Or is the one you created with Frank's Red Hot and a pickle the chicken? No, that's a tiny spicy chicken. Oh, okay. Yeah, pay attention. But, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> just a chicken. Like, it's got the same kind of, like, buttery batter. It's it's just a chicken, and I was like, "That's not disappointing, but you know." People say that Popeye's biscuits are dry, but Jesus Christ, this biscuit was the driest fucking thing. I like, yeah. I needed to suck up the ocean after I ate that <laughs> fucking thing. Well, no, if you want the driest biscuit and the driest chicken, you go to Homophobia Chicken. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. They got the driest, grossest, worst shit. The honey butter was definitely like the the one thing that you really tasted on that. Yeah. When I had someone come visit who was not from the United States, we were wandering around a casino near where I live, and they were so excited, not for the casino, but because on our way down the escalator, there was a Chick-fil-A, and they were like, it's the homophobic chicken place! (laughs) Wow! Wow! (laughs) They want to string me up and kill me! (laughs) It's it's great that they allow us to be homophobic in public here. Oh, God. (laughs) Uh, So, we also found uh, this cereal. And we were were very excited for this cereal. Oh, because as ever, as ever, yes, uh, I like when things are terrible. Yeah. Like, when we got that Peep cereal, I was super excited for it to just be sugar dog shit. And was it was it? just Lucky Charms. Oh. Yeah. And apparently, this is just kind of Count Chocula with a little bit of vanilla in there. And, like, I I am so disappointed. I want bad <laughs> cereal. 
Yeah, we're still on the hunt for bad cereal. I have a feeling that Sour Patch Kids cereal's got to be the worst thing on the market. I really hope so. I hope it's not just like... I I really hope it's not just Fruity Pebbles. I will be so disappointed if it's Sour just Fruity, Fruity Pebbles. Pebbles. Can I be honest? I'd be happy if it was. I kind of don't like Sour Patch Kids. I really don't want to have a Sour Patch Kids cereal. That sounds like dog shit. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the point! Bad. That's what we want! I mean, that's not going to be actual Sour Patch in there. It's just going to be fucking, uh, I uh, fucking once again, not. marshmallows Imagine like though, just flavor. soggy, milk-infused f- Sour Patch. I'm, think- <laughs> I'm thinking yeah. of sour yeah. marshmallows. Yeah. That sounds High vile. High five, buddy. Yeah. How the, yeah. How the f- yeah. You know, I'm struggling to think of a way to translate the way Sour Patch Kids taste to a cereal. <laughs> like the best I can picture is getting like those sour flavor crystals on some crunchy shit, but then it's Hell crunchy, yeah. so it's not Sour Patch Kids. Yeah. Hell, you, no, you put it on the... Could you, hmm, could you put gummies in cereal? Would that... Like oh. Flintstone, like you coat a Flintstones gummy oh, in the God. crunchy. Oh. The closest thing I can imagine to gummies in cereal is, you guys remember those um, like Twizzler straws? Yes. That's the closest yep. thing I can picture. Yeah, they, it wouldn't do anything. Like, it wouldn't even, like, dissolve in the milk. It would just yeah, sort of lovely. just bob there. Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, that is what I want. I want this <laughs> terrible stuff. Anyway, I give the Wendy's chicken breakfast biscuit a, a seven. Oh, yeah, it's 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 all right. It's just a chicken. I, like, it's, it's nothing not special. I guess I give it, like, a five out of ten for being, like, an average chicken sandwich. Is that the same rating you would give to the chicken? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, chicken's not the best chicken sandwich right. you could get. I mean, yeah, it's still Burger King, dude. I'm, yeah, I'm so I mean, disappointed in all of you. I'm the only one that went fucking weird with mine. I I, I went I, out of my way. Boy. To, yeah, yeah. yeah I was, was gonna good. put a fucking cookie on it, and I was like, oh, man. Is that a donut? And you also have to understand, we were both. Yes, well, it is. <laughs> uh, Carl was hungover, and I was like, I didn't sleep that night, and I just kind of wanted to go back to bed. I kicked somebody's door and I went food, and he was like, "What about food?" I like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like basically naked. I'm laying in bed. I'm like, ah. Uh, I your... just, I like my eyes literally closed, and I was like, the the blissful embrace of oblivion, and then bam. <laughs> it, was like, it was like, pack away your anaconda and come get your food. He had to tie it around Please. their waist to come outside. Please, sir. I'm just trying to get to sleep. No. Those potatoes are fucking good, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could have done with more, or like, like hash browns. I yeah, should I hash some browns. I wonder if they do a hash brown. Probably not. I have no idea. At Wendy's? No. That's sad. You could make yeah. them do a hash brown. PM, just think. Soon you get to enjoy Wendy's breakfast for the first time. Cool. What do you mean? That's what they just put a picture of. No, that's actually that's actually a regular uh, Wendy's chicken sandwich inside a fucking Tim Hortons donut. Inside of <laughs> yeah. Tim Hortons donuts. Just a the more I look edition. at it, the more distressed I become. <laughs> it, it, it tastes distressful. <laughs> hey, I mean, look the burger the burger in a fucking uh, donut worked well once. Once <laughs> it worked pretty good for me. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm just slapping uh, a strawberry donut on top of a fucking hamburger. It works well when I got a maple bacon donut and just put a fucking burger in it and went, yeah, this is fine. It worked the first time, and I've been this trying to... Top. I've been chasing the dragon ever since, and it's, <laughs> fucking, to it's fucking whiplash me every single other time I've tried to do it. Literally, the oh. only time I think it's tasted good is when I just had a basic-ass Krispy Kreme glazed. I mean, fucking boring. When I was working at uh, Dunkin', we had to sell this... Oh god, what the hell was it called? They had a collaboration with Snoop Dogg. And I, I know that Snoop sounds like Dog? a joke, but no, Duncan and Snoop Dogg had a collab. There's commercials for it that I can find, but um fucking Snoop Dogg. They're putting dogs was, in the donuts. Oh, it was the DO double G sandwich. Oh. And it was uh, you guys remember when they were trying to hype up like Beyond Sausage mm-hmm. stuff? Yeah. It was yeah. that. It was just that. <laughs> one of those in between a fried glazed donut and actually mm. wasn't the worst thing I've ever had but also it would probably kill me <laughs> yeah Snoop Dogg remix at Dunkin the Beyond D-O-double-G yep, sandwich drops at Dunkin it. shops this week only from January 13th 2020 
What the fuck? Yeah, it's real. <laughs> Inspired by Snoop Dogg's passion for plant-based protein and love of glazed donuts, Duncan and Snoop I mean, have Snoop come Dogg together to love... serve an exclusive, limited-time-only spin on this Beyond Sausage Sandwich. Yeah. Snoop Dogg does famously enjoy plants. He sure does. This is true. According to Snoop, when I got the chance to work at Duncan for the Beyond Sausage Sandwich launch, I got to thinking about what other Beyond Meat sandwiches we could create. Being around my favorite glazed donuts got me inspired. So today we're dropping the Beyond D O Double G sandwich at Dunkin' restaurants nationwide. You know, you work at fast food, they make you upsell stuff, and usually it's like, hey, whatever, try our cappuccino, blah blah blah. That week, we had to tell a bunch of like middle-aged white people, do you want to try the D O Double G sandwich? And they were like, what? What is that? There was a Beyond. Da, 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 da. It's the motherfucking D O G. There was a Beyond collection of clothes by Duncan Cross Snoop. There sure was. With a green it was track our suit for the time. We yeah, a green track suit emblazoned with the words "glazed for days." <laughs> yeah, I remember Tim Hortons did that with their Justin Bieber collab, where they had like fucking oh, a whole a, a whole clothing line that just had Tim Biebs on it. It was Tim so Beebs. fucking bad. Oh, yeah, that was good. Yeah, and, and instead of Tim Bits, it was Tim Beebs. I hate that. It was so bad. Uh, <sighs> do we want to get into questions? We want to go to questions? Uh, Let's go to questions. Sure. We got questions? We got questions. We got questions. People Remember, everybody, you can send your questions in dipshipspotty.com. Respond to the toy put out on Sundays. Dipshipspot on Twitter. I should follow or you. Or you could email us at. He, I already, he said already that did part, that. You stupid cunt. Anyway. Or you could answer our Twitter posts that we put out every week. Do I, as a guest, need to follow the Twitter? You don't follow the fucking Twitter. Okay, cool. It was a trick question. I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, buddy. Me neither. <laughs> please, please give us a sympathy follow. Just follow and mute us, yeah. all right? We need, Just we follow need the numbers. Yeah, yeah, we right. need the numbers. If, uh, if she one of you the fan is already the at a thousand. Handle, I will give you the pity follow. We need to beat Ship Hits the Fan, our rifle podcast. They're already in the thousand. Oh, yeah, that's mine. Sorry. There you no? go. Well, you well, son well. of a bitch. You what have you been working at Rooster Teeth? <laughs> you I'll kill sucker. you. I'll kill you, dead. Hang on, this first question hang on. is from Yellow Follow. Yondello. Uh, yo, guys, like to say, I've been keeping me entertained. The things are snail pace slow at work. Thanks for that. No Wanna problem. i something fun first before the question. Okay. Take the current game you're playing and replace the protagonist of the previous game you played with the current one and imagine how things would go. Uh oh. Um. Hmm. So, um, I, I, <laughs> I don't know how to do this because they're both technically created characters. I, Kirby in Sonic Unleashed would make Sonic Unleashed uh, a shorter game. That's so yeah, funny that's because the sure. last two games that I played, not counting Yu-Gi-Oh, would be Kirby and Elden Ring. Mine is uh, Elden Ring and uh, Gundam Battle Operations 2. So the Elden Lord is now a Gundam pilot. Hey, hey, oh. listen. We didn't get to play Battle Operations 2 because it was... Oh, I didn't talk about that. I shouldn't talk about that. <laughs> oh, well. Too late. It's okay. It's still on PS4. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> uh, let's see. Mine would be... Uh, Kirby and Back for Blood? <laughs> oh, God. Wait, which is... Are we putting the Back for Blood... Are we putting the cleaners into Kirby? Or is Kirby going to... <laughs> It could go either way. <laughs> and that's terrifying. A beret wearing goatee sporting Kirby smoking a cigarette going, Poyo Poyo! <laughs> I hate Poyo! <laughs> Sucks up a zombie, shoots it out like a star. Dude, just don't absorb the power. What about you, PM? Uh, it would be The Binding of Isaac. So mm -hmm. Isaac in... What was the game I played before that? Probably Pokemon. Uh, yeah, probably Pokemon Unite. Like oh, that, that'll make it a whole lot more disgusting because you just got Isaac fucking crying just, at enemies. Just like and... a little blood stain of a fucking fetus. <laughs> oh. uh, just a Cinderace kicks a fetus into I, the crowd. I would love to see Pokemon Unite where everything was exactly the same, but there was one like <laughs> human child, most photorealistic human child, and when they died, they just laid down on the ground for the rest of the game. Oh, no. <laughs> just blood slowly pooling. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, there's like six questions in this fucking email. Is it, is it Tonya? 
No, no, this is this is uh, Yellow Yondello. Oh, okay. With Kingdom Hearts 4 getting its trailer, if you were to have a separate Kingdom Hearts game with all the original characters still in it, which game series would replace the Final Fantasy side? And what animation film like company can a Disney would replace the Disney side? Oh, Who would be the Christ. two companions that would follow Sora, the ruler king like Mickey and the Master Yen Sid equivalent? Is this all one question? That is all one question. Oh, Jesus shit. Christ. That is very um, in depth. That's a lot for me to think about all at once. I don't know enough about any specific series to like properly answer this question. Actually, no, I lied. JoJo. Just insert everything. Every answer to this question, just JoJo. Something related to JoJo. Whatever you the know, equivalent is. Replace the video game side with Bungie properties. Mm-hmm. You just want more Destiny. I want more Destiny, and I want <laughs> I want I want Master Chief, and I want Cade Six, <laughs> and replace the the Disney side with anime. <laughs> just all anime. I mean, I don't know about replacing the uh, the Final Fantasy part with something, but I know that I would want the Shonen Jump for the fucking replacing Disney. That would be pretty good, yeah. All the Shonen Jump properties. Who who would be the uh, the duck and dog? You see, I've thought about this. I was like, it would make the most sense if like the actual Disney Castle residences part was like Bleach characters. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't hate Uh-oh. that. That's actually a good idea. Yeah. Uh-oh. That makes sense, too, because then, like, the bad guys that go throughout the worlds can be hollows, and yeah, it would yeah, track. Yeah. Or the Aurora. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hang on. My computer just did a thing, and it stopped the recording. Uh-oh. Uh, this episode's a mess. You're a mess. Yep, so we're getting this <laughs> in. So there's going to be a break in this perfect. track. Sorry about that, Carl. You're going to have to fix it. <laughs> I'm recording again. We're good. I'm gonna fix fucking everything. Right, man. right down, uh, right down the timestamp. It's fine. I recorded for like a half hour before yeah. I joined the call. It was just me talking to Carl one on one. I mean, yeah, that's true. Swapping. Actually, because that's funny. No, I Swapping recorded saliva. like three minutes. <laughs> Not what about you, PM? Uh, JoJo. Just, just. Oh yeah, you said you said JoJo. Yeah, just JoJo. Jordan, did you say one? Uh, I don't have one for Final Fantasy, but uh, Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers. Oh, that's also that's good. Not replaced bad. Disney. Uh, so King Mickey would be replaced with King uh, Rabbit. King, Pete King would Bugs. be replaced with a different duck. <laughs> Wait, Pete's not a duck. No, but there's a duck. <laughs> there is a duck. You're right. I'm trying to think who would replace a Final Fantasy side for, like, any for years with the the bleach or whatever. Yeah. I don't... <laughs> It's hard, man. There's no real series that's as far-reaching as that. Yeah, it's Final Fantasy. Mario. Oh. Dragon Hello, Quest. Mario. Hello, Mario. Dragon Quest is a good one, yeah. Oh, Dragon Ball. Why not? It's just Shonen Jump. Oh, right, yeah. Well, yeah. Stupid. Yeah, exactly. I don't know, fucking Mega Man. What's the other Fairly out of parents. Like... All right. The second oh, question... Hell yeah. What crossover would you do with Monster Hunter that has you fighting something and isn't just a costume weapon? Oh. I mean, the Witcher one was pretty good. I actually, you know, I have something for this, and maybe it's because I've been playing and watching it again recently, but what is? I'd take a Monster Hunter Yu-Gi-Oh crossover. Yeah, hell yeah. I'd like That'd to fight some good. of those beasties. Fuck up a blue eyes, man eater bug yeah. just pops out of nowhere, eat your ass. <laughs> Stop talking about man eater bug. <laughs> That's all he Stop has. Stop being afraid of man eater bug. Stop being afraid of flip bugs. It's a shame that they already did a uh, Evangelion crossover because that's like the perfect one. I'm sorry, they did what? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It was a crossover with the, in the mobile game, I believe, where oh, one of the uh, okay. they made a Brachidios the same colors as the uh, the purple Eva. Was that Eva 03? Yep. And uh, when you beat it originally, it just stops and shuts down, and then it does like the warnings things on the side from Eva. Oh, that's awesome! And then it just turns back on and turns red. And it's really oh. cool. Oh yeah, I'm looking up some pictures of it. The it's design really of it's cool. actually rad as hell with those colors. They already did Horizon, but it'd be cool if uh, there were some metal beasts from Horizon in. That'd be cool. Did Honestly, want- also, I'd be down for... I guess this is more niche, but like... Some of the Pathfinder monsters would be really fun to fight too. Yeah. Uh, PM Jordan, thoughts? Hmm. No thoughts. Head empty. All the uh, actually no. Uh, Mega Man Battle Network. I want to fucking fight uh, Gregar mm, and Flazer. Some virus busting. 
Yeah, just a giant ass Gregar and Flazar. Oh. Hell yeah, that'd be pretty cool. They are. They have the Mega Man like... crossover stuff in Rise with like yeah. getting the Rush um, Palamute and stuff. So like, Duo I could pops see them down and judges you for your sins. <laughs> How about you, Jordan? Furry deleted. I don't know. Like, I just don't You're have wrong? an answer. I've been trying okay. to think of one. I'm surprised it's just because you, you don't want me to yell, "Stop talking about Persona Five because you shit on Manier bugs," so I have to shit on you back. <laughs> uh, I like how that means what your you entire niche from Medi is man eater bug. Yeah, I'm actually surprised you didn't think or or at least say persona. Because I was what thinking was of persona. Good monsters in there too. Mm. Yeah, the demons. You fight I was fucking thinking about um, the like uh, Shin Megami chariot. series for um... <laughs> Mara. No, yeah, no, yeah, you fucking oh, fight yeah, Mara. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do a helm <laughs> splitter on Mara. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh. Oh, I just imagine crushed my legs. My legs. <laughs> imagine fighting Mara with a um, with a gun lance. Ooh. That's oh, that's cool. Sounding. No, no, no. no <laughs> Question three: In a murder, Mary screw equivalent, which of these would you do for the disasters that are Fire Festival dash cut on? I'm just gonna skip that one. I don't even yes, know what that please, means. <laughs> Number four: If the Pokédex entries were taken literal, which ones would you want to be true, and which ones do you not want to be true? I don't know any Pokedex entries. The one entries. that I don't want to be true is one of the only ones I remember, which is Driftloon. Ah, uh, yeah, murdering yeah. small children, yep. Uh, same, but, uh, Hypno. Yeah. I don't remember a lot of them, though. I'm not very... Even yeah, we don't have an encyclopedic knowledge of Pokedex, Pokedex entries. entries. Yeah. Um, I do enjoy, uh, the Vibe Check Pokemon. The what? Oh, the, the hat? Check Pokemon. Yeah, the hat. Hatterene, yes. If you have an emotion around Hatterene, any emotion, it'll beat the shit out of you. <laughs> okay, you know, I want that one to be true. That I, Can I change my answer? <laughs> yeah, I want that one to be true. I don't want the the one about Macargo to be true, about it being hotter than the sun, because he's a friend. Wait, what does a Macargo look like? Let me Google that. Your it's mama. a slugmo with a shell. Oh... But the one I would want to be true is just Drampa chilling with people and also murdering bullies. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, you know yeah. what I actually do want to be true, if I remember what this Pokemon is? Uh, the entry, I remember more than the Pokemon's name, and it's like this, uh, the spirit of a woman who went onto a mountaintop and died. Frostlass! Oh, uh, yeah, Frostlass. Yeah. Frostlass. yeah, I want that one to be real, because that's rad. Hell yeah. It sounds like it would be like a legendary rather than just something you can find 800 Part, of. Yeah, or a mythic. Part <laughs> yeah. five of six. Which series of anything, film, game, anime, whatever, have you gone through where you can't believe the creator or whoever royally screwed up for whatever reason? Anything David can Cage ever made. Yeah, that's true. That's fair. Repeat the question. Which series of anything, film, game, anime, whatever, have you gone through where you can't believe the creator or whoever royally screwed up for whatever reason? I... The Supernatural CW series. How fucking yeah. dare oh, you? That is, that is that is a masterwork. That is perfection personified. <laughs> what are you talking uh, about? PM, PM, I would agree with you if it weren't so homophobic at the end. <laughs> oh, I didn't I didn't actually get to the end. I didn't I don't know how homophobic it gets. They send one of the angels. No, no spoilers, 10. no spoilers. Uh, I wanna watch oh, it. Right. That's right, you do want to watch it, freak. Hey, when I have inevitably do the uh, the supernatural rewatch podcast with your wife, uh, yeah. you'll, you'll be you'll be thanking I hate me. You. I'm so yeah, sorry for your loss. Supernatural, hell yeah. Or I can't believe the creator who ever royally screwed up. I would want to say Fairy Tale or Seven Deadly Sins. Yeah, that's fair. Or I Fire mean, Force, because those actually, are the three you know I what? shit on. Because they as suck. a slightly more legitimate answer, the Moroni Kenshin dude really had a cool series yeah, and blew say, it by anyone being... who became a pedophile. Yeah. later. yeah, like he had an awesome story and a lot of fans, and kind of blew it by then diddling children. Or, uh... hey, Car, remember that guy? Who? That guy who was our friend. I don't know who you're talking about. Is this the yeah. dude that I also know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know anyone by the name of. Anyway, this episode is sponsored by Mr. Beast Burger. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, what's your answer for the royally screwed up question? Super mega. <laughs> yeah, I mean you're right. <laughs> Wait, 
shit. What they what they haven't do? heard shit about right. them in oh, years. It's not what they did. It's what one of their employees did. What happened? Uh, he was given a a credit card for oh, the company. Okay. And uh, has now embezzled sixty thousand dollars worth of stuff from the company. <laughs> oh, and personal oh, shit, expenses. You got this. Holy shit. <laughs> What was Man. the zoo? What was the description of the zoo one? <laughs> How going go? to the zoo to see koalas to fulfill a child long dream or something like that. <laughs> child the dream. I have full respect for that. It's like all of these things just sound like a shit. It sounds like they just went to great lengths to make a fucking live action skit. <laughs> but they made, they probably did. Uh, the sixth question, the final one from this. By the way, I want to ask everyone to please stop sending in nine-part questions. Please yeah. leave it at, at we're, least we're three. We're going to start ignoring uh, things we'll, after just three. Just pick after your favorite. Episode, I think. For the other shipmates, how would you have handled or reacted? Well, how would you have handled slash reacted? You had found, stole the bike, and you were attacked by Gilly Suit Man. No, ah, <laughs> wait. <laughs> I, w- I would have ridden the bike. This sounds like a creepy pasta. What? Uh, so Nick, our dear pasta, friend, Nick. our dear oh, okay. friend, our dear friend and shipmate PM, uh, found a bike, uh, <laughs> at a public place and was just like, "I'm just gonna wait here for an hour to see if anyone claims it. Otherwise, I'm gonna take it." What? It was because it, it was, it was unchained. left unma- unmanned, unchained, it just leaning up uh, against a fucking like stone partition. So like... PM went to go and take it after an hour, and a man in a ghillie suit jumped out of a bush with a knife and shouted, I knew you'd come back, you bike-stealing son of a bitch, and Holy chased shit. him down. Holy shit. So that is the ghillie suit man. <laughs> so, so the question is, if we happened upon a bike, how would we react? If, if you I probably would have thrown the bike scenario, at him. If you were what would you have done? Yeah, if you, uh, but, if but you like, tried to take a free well, bike, okay. well, first, off, suit man you. first off, I wouldn't have taken the fucking bike. Yeah, but if I, I, I did, would not have taken the goddamn. If I, I just did, kept walking. for whatever reason, want that bike, if he started rushing at me and I had it in my hands, I just throw the fucking bike at him and run. Yeah, yeah. like I just drop the bike and run. <laughs> not even drop it. I would chuck it at him and just book it. I feel like I would waste precious time picking and throwing up the bike that he would use to stab me. <laughs> I mean, my hands weren't even on the bike. Like, I was approaching the bike when he fucking popped out of the bushes. Oh my god, that's... Oh, that's fucking Holy funny. Holy shit. What a vigilante. What a bro. <laughs> that is a man who has had far too many bikes stolen, and he is not gonna take it anymore. Like, he I... was like, yeah, I'll buy another bike, and you know what? While I'm on Amazon... I'll buy a knife <laughs> and a ghillie suit. Uh. Iceberg67 asks, are there any Yu-Gi-Oh cards or archetypes you dislike for its art simply because you find it aesthetically unpleasant or you think it has horrendous vibes? Uh, Their example is whenever I see someone play Trap Tricks on Master Duel, I immediately assume they're not allowed near a school. (laughs) Hold on, hold on. I'm I'm opening Master Duel right now. I saw, I pulled something the other night Uh, that made me react like this. All I'll say is... It, it's it's mostly vibes, but the aesthetic also rubs me the wrong way. I know they're strong and also technically interesting lore-wise, but God, Drayton is so boring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Once the combo starts, the vibes are ruined, and I just go play a different game for five minutes. So the question was... Does anyone else find Ojama offensive? Uh, like, I mean, in general? I, I, yes. I think that's the point, though. Yeah, yeah. but like... You know, like, it's the point, but it's also, like, means, you know, like... Like, the one that I remember most vividly is the yellow one with the wonky eyes and the leopard print thong. But ha- uh, yeah, have uh... you seen Ojama Pink? Ojama Probably Pink at one point in my life. Hang on. Ojama Pink is fucking terrible. Let's get the I would probably say Dragon Maids, because I feel like people who play them would also not be allowed near a school. Oh, actually, yeah. I do get those exact, like, if we're talking specifically about not allowed near a school vibes, Sky Striker. <laughs> Especially with the recent development. Yeah, exactly. Which one? Wait, what happened? Wait, which uh, archetype? In the or new what Sky Striker manga, they confirmed that Raya is 13. Oh, yep. God. You know, I looked up a picture of Ojama Pink, what? and I, I kind of, like, I can't look away. It's tantalizing. It's like horrifically. It's like looking at a train wreck. 
Hamza asks, uh, fuck, Mary, kill, Andrew Woman, Gardevoir, Dark Magician Girl. Huh. You're really gonna stab me in the heart like this, huh? I think, just based on one? my childhood, I have to marry Dark Magician Girl. Mm-hmm. Which means that I have to, hmm. Hmm. There's a correct order. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna fuck Andrew Woman, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna kill Gardevoir. That's you got it. You got it in one. <laughs> yeah, that's. I was pr I was probably gonna marry Andrew Woman, kill Gardevoir. Ugh. So yeah, fuck Mary, kill Andrew Woman, Gardevoir, Dark Magician Girl. Yep. Uh, I'm a kill Gardevoir. Yeah. I. <laughs> that's it. Period. I'm a. I'm a fuck Andrew Woman, and I'm a marry Hell Dark yeah. Magician Girl. Jordan looking up reference pictures of Andrew Woman. I mean, I don't go to Digimon, so I don't know. No one um, goes to Digimon. Now, to be fair, there was not, like, a Digimon show playing when Jordan was a kid. That's fair. When we were kids, there were three of them. Yeah. <laughs> and that fourth one we don't talk about. Hey! Hey! Wait, that's, that's the one where they turn into the Digimon, right? Yeah, the I just realized. Revolution. Listen, I just that realized shit was that the... rad. It was. I just realized this question's about uh, three blondes. It's crazy. Um, Are you talking about Gilmore Girls? Gardevoir's not blonde! Gardevoir's got blonde energy. <laughs> I don't know I, what that means. I, I know what that means, but I don't agree. D does she also <laughs> only take selfies in her car? <laughs> That's not blonde! <laughs> What's your answer, oh, Jordan? yeah, you're right. Yeah, but Cat has blonde energy. <laughs> What's your answer, Jordan? Cat's got the strongest blonde energy I've ever seen. <laughs> Mary, Gar Mary Dark Magician, fuck Gardevoir, kill uh, Angie Woman. Well, you're allowed to be wrong anyway. <laughs> Emza also asked in a different email Are there any pieces of spin off media, games, anime, manga, whatever weep shit that you particularly enjoy? Personal favorite of mine is Dragon Ball Fusions on the 3DS, a fun little RPG that gives a ton of great fan service for the series while also not just retelling Z again. Uh, let's see. Spin offs of the thing. Could you have said that a little games. faster? Yeah, probably. Spin offs of the thing you, that you liked, surprisingly. Duel of the Roses. No. <laughs> I, I did like Duels of the Roses, though. All Spawn Kingdom. <laughs> What'd you say, Carl? All Spawn Kingdom. Huh. Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Ooh, that is a good one. Shit, you're right. Okay, but... What about I the also... fact that in Digimon Cyber Sleuth with the, like, quote-unquote enhanced edition where they added a female MC but didn't change any of the text, so you're allowed to be lesbians? Ah, uh, Yes. Um, like you, quality control. Arceus Legends. That's, That's also fair. a good one. Arceus Legends is pretty good. This is hard. Does anyone remember that Mega Man Battle Network spinoff that was specifically on the GameCube? Hell yeah, that uh, was hard yeah. as shit. I think that's what I'm going to go Warrior with. Was one, of, yeah. one of the hardest games I've ever played in my life. God, Battle yeah. Battleship Challenge was pretty rad too. Ooh, that one was also good. Jordan, you're a spinoff media that you enjoy. Well, Persona is a spinoff of the <laughs> SMT franchise, anyway, so I'm gonna go with... I fucking hate you, you're he's the fucking not, worst. But he's not wrong! He's <laughs> not, not wrong, wrong, but fucking Jack god. Jack Bros in the labyrinth, understood. Oh, oh fuck, that's Maryland awesome. Wolves asks, what do you guys think is the funniest recent wrestling meme? I don't know shit. Um, I, all the wrestling memes I know were from, like... The early aughts and before. Yeah, I don't have. Wrestling. I'm gonna say Vince McMahon not selling a fucking stone that's cold. That's the stunner. answer. That's just that's just the answer. Yeah, like yeah, the meme is just fair. Vince McMahon. No, no, no. Okay, so you know how sometimes Vince McMahon's like, "I'm a wrestler," and yeah. he gets up on stage and he has someone beat the shit out of him. Yeah. Usually, Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> All right, so he did that. Uh huh. Forgetting that he's, like, 70 now. Jordan, find the clip. And, uh, he got a Stone Cold Stunner performed on him. Well, it almost attempted. Y well, yeah. that uh, He was going to get a Stone Cold Stunner performed on him. And then he forgot to sell it. Like, yeah, the gift Steve right Austin, there. like, <laughs> grabbed his face, what? and he was like, Why are you touching my face? No, here's the thing. <laughs> I, I think the initial <laughs> impact of the kick... Must have like really hurt him because he went down on one knee just with the kick. So I think yeah. I think the kick, the kick was looks real. Good, but the rest, yeah. But then look at look, he's like 
not grabbing his head. <laughs> it, like, l- it looks like he's going for the ending of The Last Airbender, where he's going for energy bending. <laughs> Like he's petting his hair, <laughs> like it's fluffy. He's like, ooh. Oh, I'm God. starting to also What's think this that conditioner uh, you I'm use? starting. I'm, I'm starting to think that Austin also has trouble actually hitting the kick because yeah, because he's got fucking never old heard, busted knees. Never forget when in 2020 he hit Byron Saxon in the balls uh-huh. <laughs> when he when he went for the stunner. Oh, Wubkey. Uh, Wubkey asks, uh, "Hope everyone is feeling at least okay." My question is: Do you prefer pie or cake, and which flavor is your favorite? I like pie. Pie is triangle. Pie is triangle. I like that. <laughs> That's upsetting. I paw a craft single. <laughs> I paw. He paws a craft. I, I paw, paw a craft, a craft single. single. I have included the craft single for inspiration. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? They're referencing something. <laughs> Don't worry about pie it. Pie or cake? Uh, cake. Cake. Favorite cake. Favorite flavor? Vanilla. Uh, Better yeah. at making Wrong. cakes. Prefer pies. I, I like nice cherry cakes. pie. There, I we had a hey on the date of recording. It's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom! Oh, um, shit. Happy birthday, Denise! Yeah, you know, fucking shout outs to Denise. Yeah, so she got uh, she's some rad. like she's awesome, but I got this uh, like cookie brownie cake, Ooh. and that was that was real good. And they also included a weird question for PM. When did you move out of the raccoon apartment? I'm desperately trying to find the audio of your reaction to the owl statue's destruction, and I'm losing my shit combing through KH marathons. <laughs> when I, I'm, I'm still in this uh, that apartment. I haven't moved. This was probably oh, like last year, wait, year before. So did this person just like have a very vivid dream where you moved out. I probably, probably. talked about moving out. Granted, I've been dealing with ra- uh, raccoons in my apartment for. St- the last two apartments now. Oh, Nick. Nick, you, you also not... haven't. I feel like you haven't talked about the apartment, the apartment raccoons in a while. Uh, yeah, because last... I haven't seen them in, in a long ass time. The last raccoon story I remember hearing from you is the jism. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. When I got, you do not know when I got fucked. PM's luck with animals. <laughs> Very bad. Got attacked by a hawk <laughs> while walking in the park. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Where? What, what state do you live in? State. I Canada. live in Canada. Canada. Oh, okay. What province? Ontario. Okay, Ontario, no, wait. This actually tracks. Hold on. They <laughs> live in Toronto. <laughs> they live on the island of Toronto. <laughs> no, Aunt not Hero asks, uh, you've been cancelled in a call-out post. What did you do? Uh, um, probably sending uh, uh, PFTs to someone uh, not willingly accepting them. <laughs> you sent PFTs to a minor. <laughs> Hate that. Some a cop's just like, why are you sending a 12-year-old girl farts? <laughs> I would probably get canceled for something really stupid, like bad anime opinions. Like, hey guys, I just watched the most recent One Piece episode. It was really good. And someone would yell at me for being transphobic. Saying, oh, no, that's really good. no, no, no. They'll yell at you for uh, calling Yamato he. Yeah. Mm, probably. Because everyone on Twitter seems to think that Yamato is female when Yamato's not female. But they still your... have to get angry about it. What was your answer, Jordan? Uh, saying things about people in our in the American government, Central Park, <laughs> in Roblox, Minecraft. <laughs> what? Mood, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> I... Don't worry, you're not Zoomer enough to understand. <laughs> Hey, mine, mine really... was just probably saying shit that I said like fucking yeah. years ago. Cause yeah, our, ours is someone uploading a yeah, like <laughs> a video of like a Tatsudoshi stream. Specifically, where we all the three words. of us. We've been on the internet and specifically you two on YouTube and shit for a long time. <laughs> a long time. We we said some bad stuff during unfortunate eras. Yeah, I think it might be time for a boat fact. That we've answered one question from Twitter. All of them were from Yahoo. <laughs> so many. Go ahead, Jordan. What's the boat fact? One of the most, like, profitable pirates in his time was Alan Neen Jones in the mid-1500s, where he basically was a pirate for over 50 years. To the English, he was a hero. But to the Spanish, he was a villain. Do you know how much he made off with? Uh, is there any actual fact here, or are you just introducing this man to us and then leaving it? 
I'm inspired to do independent research now. Just, it does not say just how much he made off with, just that he was active for over 50 years. He made a grand I mean, total I mean, of any, 20 any US pirate, dollars. Any, well, back then, yeah, that's, uh, I mean, back then it was probably a lot. But no, uh, <laughs> any pirate uh, that's active for 50 years, I, I think... Uh, Take your hat off, boy, that is a dollar. <laughs> that's a pretty good sign that he must have made at least some bank. Or he it's a sign that he, he made... Owns. In one piece. <laughs> it's either a sign that he was making Mad Bank or a sign that he was only making enough to survive and could never retire. Oh, don't bring that sh- depressing shit in. That's gonna be our lives. <laughs> I know, but at least they were pirates. So you're saying that we should all abandon this podcast gig and start being pirates instead? No, I'm saying we should do the podcast on the open seas. All right, listen, and we have we a new a, segment. If we ever get a boat. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. We get a new segment where we rob a merchant vessel. <laughs> uh, you guys want a shark fact? <laughs> yes, please give me a shark fact. Some sharks lay eggs, and they're called uh, mermaids' purses. They're not actually purses. I tried. Some <laughs> sharks have babies inside of them, and they will eat each mm. other inside of the mother. That's what happened to me and my twin. Anyway, thank I you all for listening to another. Fact, actually, yeah. Oh. Um, do you know the reason that sharks do not go on land? Why is that? They don't want us to see their feet. Oh my god. They're sexy. Parentheses <laughs> sexy. Parentheses <laughs> sexy. I hate that I know that. I hate, I hate myself that I, I know where that's from. What do you mean you know where that's from? Don't worry that's about it. That's from me! That's from me and oh. Nick playing fucking QI. Oh, okay, I... never mind then. I thought I thought, <laughs> I thought it was a meme from, like, forever ago. Never mind, sorry. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> that was a private joke for nobody but me. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I thought, I, thought, I thought you were referencing something. I, it turns out I was In mistaken. the podcast. You know? Thank you all for listening to another exciting episode of, <gasps> of Dip Ships. I wish we could go on longer, but Jordan really wants it to end. He really hates being here and really doesn't like spending time with us and really wishes to not be on the podcast, I guess. He just doesn't <laughs> yeah, want us anymore. Like, Jesus Christ. Thank you all for listening. Uh, and don't forget to... that. Uh, what was I going to say? Podcast sink or swim on word of mouth. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> so make sure you sh- share this podcast around with anyone you think would like it. You you nearly said make sure you shit. You nearly I'm said going make to sure share you shit. Specifically. Make sure you listen to this podcast exclusively when you're taking a shit. No other time. Exclusively, I'm going to share around this For episode as the one I'm in to be like, hey guys, check out this podcast. No uh, other episodes, uh, only 30. Yeah. Correct. Good. Yes, correct. Only 29 acting as episode <laughs> no, 30. No, no, no. Just 30. We only 30. The only reference this is 30. <laughs> Cut out every time we said 29. <laughs> uh, don't forget to check us out on Patreon if you want to support us directly. Hey, if we um, if we get to 5,000, we get an actual boat and start being actual pirates. Yeah, we'll uh, rob oh the seven God, seas. <laughs> Thank yeah, you all if, for if listening. We, if we get a boat and become actual pirates, uh, I'm against we? everyone's will joining the crew. Oh, well. <laughs> that's, what he, that's what he means. Shit, I mean. Thank you all for listening. We'll see you all in the nautical mile. Toodles. Bye. Goodbye. Ah! I don't know how to stop recording.